This is my equatorial platform, driven by a threaded rod, which in turn is driven by a stepper motor, very high torque. Here you can see the lathe dog style drive and if you switch it on there's a problem there's a tremendous amount of noise as soon as the drive engages so you just use a buffer using a piece of batting or cotton wool and the sound is completely damped This is a limiter switch which cuts in at the end of the cycle and cuts the power from the battery on the side we have a little control panel with an on off switch and coarse and fine speed adjustment circuit board, resistance, current limiting resistance, the battery, and let's put the top on now. There you can see the split nut. Which is tensioned in turn by an elastic band. And it's connected by a threaded rod to the platform itself. So, it pulls the platform along and the 3D rod turns. Here you can see how it engages and disengages. Very smooth. So at the end of the cycle you don't have to switch off your power or go into reverse, you just decouple, swing the platform back to its start position and re-engage the nut. Just put a more tension on the elastic band. Now this has been running so as soon as we disengage the limiter switch, the motor starts going. There we are, now you can see how it travels at high speed. Even at this speed it can still move the telescope, the 14 inch Stopsonian, on it because the balance is pretty good. There are the rod ends which you use to give a certain degree of freedom so that no tensions are built up during the change of angles of the nut and the threaded rod. Let's just slow it down now. A tiny bit more just speed just to get it to the limiter then we'll slow it down and you can see it cut out. Here we go. The limiter's about to go in. Yeah. No.